a lot uh, like most of the times when i think of something trust me i do it the way i think about it so um i thought of doing something like this i'm like now why can't we just use these roll machines to <laughs> to trim these pixels because i've never done it you have been seeing me using these um uh, comb uh, the comb cutter but this time around i had to try it with this uh, machine and see how it can come out and indeed the results that is very very uh, is very very nice as you're going to be seeing in this video so i would like you to give me a time step by step and i i show you how i managed to achieve this look yes Master. All right. Yes. Uh, my name is Maurice, the Crochet Master. I'd like to welcome everyone who is watching me wherever you are. Thank you so much, and may God bless you all. Yes, and I would like to welcome all the return subscribers. Please, you can always go in my comment section. Tell me what you you're missing and what you'd want me to redo or maybe like in learning so that i can know what like maybe those things that you miss out that we can redo and we learn how to do it so uh, number one we are going to be seeing on how to do these uh pixel and uh, it's the brush uh the brush piece and i told you why i always call it a brush piece it is the way of cutting like the style you know like a brush piece that is when the whole uh, head is leveled like the same size not like these ones we always do when you find like on top it is big and, and size the small uh, it is uh uh on top is big and then the side is small and all so this one is like you find like the whole head is uniform it is the same uh the same um uh the, the same cut so now we are going to be seeing on how to do this hairstyle and trust me it is very very amazing one all you need to do is to first do the round corners why do we always do this round corners is because um uh, it is the best corner for the, the the short piece and what i would always advise you guys like that i've been seeing like most of you who always do this kind of uh, the corn roll for the short piece you always space it too much yes and even even uh, my girls also have they stress they, they, they sometimes if i don't tell them the way i want it sometimes they do all those mistakes to uh over space it and then at times it, it depends on someone's hair you find like someone's got a weak hair and then when you try to plate it this way it gives it uh that look that look of of a spacing you understand so uh um, so we we need to um observe that uh, uh that the hair texture so that uh, maybe if the hair texture is really really thin then we if uh, we need to overpack yeah because these corners they don't need they don't need to be over spaced if they're over spaced then it means your oh sorry it means your um your short piece is going to be with humps <laughs> i know most of you always observe that like when you're trying to comb and you feel the humps in the piece yes so that one comes when you over space uh, these cornrow and um yes i've been seeing other people always they first put the net and then they continue with the the braiding or with the uh, after doing these the bigger cornrows then they apply the net then they start doing the the trimming yes it can be fine but though um i would uh, i feel like maybe it might be hard for you when it comes to oiling it yes you know we have those people who are very sensitive who have got sensitive scalps like most of the time they be uh, scratching themselves so they need to be oiling their uh, scalps for to, to prevent all that and that's why i'm like now if we put that net before plating yeah 
uh, because we are different people. There are those people who would want this hairstyle to last for a month or two months, you understand? And then there are those who just like it for a week. So for me, when I'm plating for somebody who is going to have it for like a month, uh, I, I I feel like that, that uh, it might be hard for her not to, if she is not oiling it, to, to, to stay with that piece for all that long. So that's why I already advise, like, try to make sure that your corners are very packed, they're not too spaced. Yes, they're not too spaced. Now, now in the way you can see like these four lines uh, from the center, they're too packed. That's how it could be like all of it, very packed. That's when it will be very good. And then another thing is that it should be with the inside cornrows. It should be the inside corner because sometimes these updo cornrows, uh, it shrinks. You might find like the, those people with uh, um, cornrows that, uh, that those people with a, a lot of the hair, okay, sorry, the hair has got a lot of volume. So now when you try to plate it in that way, it shrinks like it looks like it's big. So when you try to plait it, the short piece, it creates those harms. And that's why I always advise, like, please, you should learn how to do this. So after, we're just going to add our ant each, of course, because that one is a mars. We always add it before so that, yes, you'll be, uh, all weavers, uh, you, you, you be protected from the itching, you understand? So after all that, now here is when uh we need to sorry like we need to know how to do this um one all you need to follow you just have to follow all these steps like when you're adding this short piece i wouldn't say like maybe here there is a lot of art while adding this and i cannot say that still there's no there is not there's no there's no art that you can be using but uh what i can say you just try to look at someone's head and then another thing is what are you going to do you understand so like me i know already that i'm going to be doing a brush piece and that one needs a few uh, hair on, on the head so there's nothing there's no need of me adding like uh the two volumes or like to to add, to, to add a lot uh, yet i'm going to trim them you understand so it means i'm just going to be adding or maybe like one layer two layers yes yes mostly two layers so that uh, it is not too much uh, according to what i'm going to trim but now this one goes like mostly uh the, those head when you find someone's head it doesn't have a corner behind yes you should always now there is when you add the art knowing that you have to create the corner behind uh, in that uh, it doesn't look funny and then there are those head shapes that are already made with a corner and if you use the other uh, the previous adding of uh, creating the corner yet someone has got her own corner that means it is going to be huge behind and looks bad so uh, this brush uh, piece cutting it um it you, you just need to uh sew the the piece um um now you can see here that like the four layers but why just because i'm behind i'm here like on the on the corner half half corner is not that big and uh, it's just just too a little bit pack you you pack very well since we are going to cut it yes so i i know that even uh, i i i don't tell you not to overpack behind it is fine you can overpack behind but still you need to count your weave it's not like just to overpack and then after you're going to cut it off you're going to trim it but for me I know already what I'm going to be doing. That's why I, I, I'm telling you all this. So you just have to measure, looking at someone's head shape first, knowing that what you're supposed to do is, uh, and and knowing the shape of uh, the, the the shape that you're going to be doing. 
so now if i would say that if it was going to be like a french cut it would be like maybe on the sides i would put like one layer and then on top which way i would put like three layers you understand just like that so you need to be creative in that way so sometimes here on the saint it is very very dangerous to some people who do it unprofessional and here is the issue you find like some some people they find the itching here in the middle mostly here you know why it is because whenever they are sewing this center some of you guys do it like when you're trying to pull this thread you over stretch it you over pull it and now it it makes that cornrow like to over stretch and now it if it's stretched it means uh, the, the, the the skin is stretching so uh, for all that time like a week old it means it is going to be dry it's, it will be absorbing water all the time so it like it gets dry and you find someone uh, start uh, getting the itching and um, mostly you find like uh, the, by the time of unplating the hair just break so it is very dangerous that's why now those ones who have um uh, those ones with the closures on top the the, the the center closures they're fine yet it's always good to use them but now like us who don't have it still you can still have you can still do it without it but just make sure and put it in your mind that you don't need to make it tight you don't need to whenever you're doing here whenever you are uh, you're on the center you don't over um uh stretch the the threads when you you're pulling that 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 wave so uh here i decided to use a machine remember in my most of my videos i've been using the 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 the, the, the cutter the, yeah the comb cutter but this time around i've um i wanted to use a machine because i feel like since now it is the hair that i added um, i can make it in the, the way i want you understand since I'm going to do the brush piece and then the, the whole hair is, uh, the echo is in the same size. So I can just do it the way I want as you're going to be seeing. So you can see here, it looks like her own hair. You understand? So that's why I'm like, now the machine is going to be working for me. So please, if you'd also want to uh, join, uh, please just go in my comment section, write anything that maybe you'd want me to redo for you. Trust me, I'll be there and I would reduce anything. I know you have missed a lot for all the things that you have been teaching. But if there are those ones that you don't understand, please, you can always go in my comment section. Tell me what we can redo and we are good to go. This is just a little bit more to add on here so that we maintain our peace. And then we can just do our spray. Any spray that you feel is for the human peace. Yeah, it can do work. My name is Maurice the Crochet Mars, and this is what I got for you. I'm gonna be signing out. Bye bye. See you guys. Mm -hmm.